Downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking over the third quarter chance. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, I was real quick. Oh, that was about. Oh, that was about the first. Like, I don't think I've ever had. I think I've. Ever. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right. It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On oh, second down, it's Cook again. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment. So this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. First down, here's the run with Cook. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's a second and five. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Here's Cook again, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. And he just up that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and ten. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Oh. And that falls to the ground. I got lucky. A nice job of bodying him. I got really lucky. And now it brings up that was supposed down. that was supposed to be a play. To me that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now they're coming up on play number 8 of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long. <laughs> the well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping to run will take care of the end of this drive. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. <laughs> your body will fight for you. <laughs> And I asked, he's like, do you have, no, no, I can't, you probably fucking have my fight. 
Gambino. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, I'm going to see 20 for this. Beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. As they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. It's an 8-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. They'll run with Cook, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers hitting Allen Lazard. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Barrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now it's second and ten. Play action, now it's Tua. And going deep for Hill. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehill. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half-field responsibility. Their job, stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. A 
A tenth carry in the game for Cole. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now second and nine. Again, it's Cook. And he's going to be met at about the 43. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. Now Rodgers. And it is caught. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And Cook at the 24 on the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Cook up the gut. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. It was Raquan Davis with the tackle. Here's a second and eight. Now Rodgers. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Rodgers to throw. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown, Brown. And the Jets go up by two touchdowns. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Miami. They were already down 
two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. Jason this Sanders game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. They'll try to middle with Cook. And he'll power his way up near the 25. And now they're in the hurry up. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. It's Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They started this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover. But I love their fight. Planted their feet and forced the incompletion on first down. Here's second and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. Throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Jets are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's own coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. 
And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll try and throw for it here. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. But there's one thing they aren't lacking in is confidence. They took a big and maybe unnecessary risk going for that fourth down. He put them on his shoulders, though, and paid off the big-time gamble. 26. A final shot before half for Rodgers. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And incomplete on the deep ball. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. Barrios now from his end zone and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. The throw over the middle taken in. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Up the middle, it's Cook. Scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. They need two. Here's third down. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. But far, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. A running play on first down, and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Early down stuff will put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. And quickly, they get to the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We've still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. Rodgers to throw for it on Ford. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Handoff comes to Cook. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Rodgers. And it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin. Touchdown, and the Jets are able to extend their lead in the fight.